Hello everyone and welcome back for more of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And in the last video, we decided to sail east to the Dragon Roost Island so we can get Din's Pearl. In this video, we are going to explore Dragon Roost Island, my favorite place in this game. I freaking love this place. So I'm just going to apologize right now that if we visit this place a lot in this let's play, I'm really sorry. It's just, I freaking love this place. So... Yeah, if, like, <laughs> don't be surprised if we're going to come back here a lot. Now, we will have to come back here a lot anyways for just side quest stuff, so... I do have reasons for coming back here, but I also just want to come back here for the awesome music and awesome characters. Because, yeah, I'm that much of a nerd. Uh, I was really hoping for this year for Comic-Con to go up as a Do you know what? There is still time. I still have a, I still have a lot of time before Comic-Con. Do you know what? Maybe I could try it and see if I can get... <laughs> I'm stupid. Alright, whatever. So, anyways, the way to get up here, we're gonna need some of these bombs, which always look weird to me. They always look like figs. And did our hat move when I blew that up? Whatever. So, we're gonna head over here, and you get a lot of gold rupees from just blowing up rocks. Now we're gonna Siddle. And yes, it's Siddle. I've seen a lot of, uh, jokes about, like, people saying, Oh, you know, it's actually Slide, not Siddle. No. Siddle makes more sense. Why would you want to slide along the ledge? That sounds dangerous. Do 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 do. Why does the soundtrack rock? Okay, whatever. Blow that up. Now, if you want, uh, let's get down here. You can pull this block out. No, pull it out. Don't, don't crouch or siddle. Pull it out. What are you doing? And now we have a convenient way to get back up. You can pull it out all the way if you want, and that way it will completely stay up. I'm just doing it like that because I'm a dick. And uh, here's the mail postal thing. It's a mailbox. <laughs> mail postal thing! Yay! I'm so smart. Oh boy. And over here is one of our characters. It's Quill! Yay! Blake? Blake, is that you? I love how he reached out his hand. It is, I'm pleased to see. Pleased to see, you're okay. I must say, I've traveled far from one with no wings. Mm -hmm. Can I have wings, please? And your sister, is she? Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. He's like Jade Curtis from Tales of the Abyss. He just knows so much without having to hear a lot. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I told my people about you, and all of us Rita are very concerned. Cause see, these guys are awesome. They they just they like me. And concerned chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our area. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Blake. I'll be waiting. This is just so cool. Although it's kinda of funny. Uh there's a lot of uh there's uh, kind of like hints on where the Rito people originate from, and I'll talk about it more when we see that. But it's kind of funny on where they originated from, especially with this game. And here we are. <laughs> now, I'm really, like, this much of a, uh, well, have you discovered the cause of the Great Blue Zinger? I'll, I'll just explain, I forgot that he was gonna talk. Let's get through this cutscene first. Ah, oh, so you're Blake, are you? Cool, that's told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. Now, I'm so much of a nerd that I know the names of all the Rito here. I insist that you know, let us know if there's anything you can do to help you. We should do anything in our power to assist you. Uh, the people behind him, by the way, are a uh, skit and a coot. So I know that. However, in the meantime, we have a problem with our own to deal with. And that's Quell Matsurito Chieftain. When you arrived on the island, did you notice a raging dragon perched atop the mountain? Top the mountain. Yeah, I kind of did. I mean, how could you not? As you can see, we have the Rito Trailer profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. Like pirate radio. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When Rito reach adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to reach a scale, to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is this scale that enables us Rito to grow his or her wings. Very cool. Recently, however, one, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. Oh, that sucks. 
If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive the scales from the Lu or Dragon Roost. On Dragon Roost or Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chief, Chief of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Yeah, no problem, dude. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Blake with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? Ugh, oh, god, not this kid. As you can see, Blake is a gallant young lad. I am gallant! I feel very certain that Prince Kamali will open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is one of the age to earn his wings. Of the age. Yet he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. Oh, that sucks. Can I have them then? What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Yeah, sure! Will you meet with my son? Sure, can I have a place to live here though then? I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problems as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? Yeah, sure, no problem. I'm counting on you. Here, Blake, take this with you. Who knows? It may come in handy. What do we get? We get a delivery bag! Awesome, I get a messenger bag! Finally crafted bag like this are used by Rito personnel everywhere. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. Awesome, so now we have a way of uh, transferring mail. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great blue to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. So like I said before, I love the Rito so much. I know the names of almost everyone here, pretty much. Uh, this guy right here, that's Namali, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, it is, because he has a clipboard. As you're from Off Island, let me tell you about Dragon Wolf. Everyone, uh, whatever. And <laughs> now he is more perilous. It's so bad that the bomb flowers themselves have all dried up. The great and wonderful Valu has created quite a mess. Indeed he has. Um, no, we don't want to go up there. This guy's hair is just... Attention, duelist. His hair is awesome. That's Pashley. Uh, in Rito's tribes, it's very common for names to end in, um, Lee. Like Medley, for instance, right here. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange-shaped hat. Well, you're... you have a beak on your face. You're Blake, aren't you? Why, well, yes, I am. Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the Great Sky Spirit Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not attending quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Okay. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, take this... This is uh, here. Take this from the chieftain. Blake, you wanted to give this directly to Prince Kamali. Why am I stuttering so badly? What do we get? This is a uh, you have accepted father's letter. Is he my father now? Blake, I am your father. So can I get wings? So why don't you put it to Kamali? I'm gonna take it out. Choose your delivery bag. Blah, blah. Basic. It's basic stuff. The room in the way back is on the first floor. Is Prince Kamali's room? You can have. To go there a couple steps down when you meet with Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. Yeah, Kamali is not one of my favorites of the Rio. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Blake. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cabin later? I'll explain everything then. Okay, no problem. Now, this guy right here on the out, he that is Hoskit. Uh, we know we actually need to talk to him. Hey, I know you, yeah! You're the adventure adventure guy, sailing from island to island. Action excitement, right? So with all the adventuring you do, did you have to find a golden feather? My girlfriend, she won one of those things for the longest time. And actually, I kind of promised send one to her. So this guy's looking for a golden feather. Now, we couldn't have gotten a golden feather before, but uh, upcoming, we will be able to get one. So I'm hoping to get one soon. There's Namali again. Yeah. Yes, I know everyone's name. Shut up. Let's talk to Pashley. Oh, you're the fledgling chief to mention, aren't you? Yes, I am. Dude, what? Dude, your mohawk is awesome. I feel as though I should tell you, despite what you see right now, young Master Kamali is a quite a pleasant child. His father, the chieftain, is quite busy. But Kamali has never once complained, though I'm sure he's been lonely at times. He's a chieftain's son through and through. However, his grandmother passed away recently, and Kamali seems lost. His confidence is gone. His grandma was always with him, you see. A great, great woman. Well, that's kind of sad. That sparkling ball the young master keeps with him was actually a gift from the Great Blue to Kamali's grandmother. Oh, a sparkling ball. Strange. Uh, that right there, that guy is either boshed or bished. I think it's boshed. I don't know, it's hard to tell between them because they're twins! 
There's two pairs of twins on the islands, Bastion Bish and Skate and Aku. Uh, Skate and Aku are usually always with the Rito Chieftain. I know all this stuff because I'm that much of a And this room is cool looking. Look at this room. <gasps> Wait a minute, is that what I think it is? Hey. Hmm. Well, enough looking at the room. Let's talk to Kamali. Huh? Where are you supposed to be? That symbol looks awfully familiar. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Well, let's get out our stuff. Uh, let's get the bag, the bag, the bag. No, don't open it. Dude, open. Hello. There we go. God. I'm going to open it. Put it to a button. There we go. Talk to him and give him the letter. That's how you do things. I know how to GameCube. A letter from my father. Oh, sure, tell me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go through, go get a scale from Blue. Well, he did once. You're in the slaughter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Well, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help your people. Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What, are you trying to say that you can calm the loo down? Yeah, because I know how to organize pizza parties. Psh, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. Oh, uh, I think I can do it. I'll tell you what, if you can find someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roots to go get Valu, then, then I'll listen to anything you say. Kid, I will bitch slap you over the, okay. So yeah, Kamali apparently is not willing to go get Valu, a uh, scale from Valu, because Valu is so freaking upset. Maybe Valu's girlfriend just broke up with him. I mean, God, people. Jeez. Sometimes it happens. Maybe he got a hangnail. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. Ow. They, like, thinking about it hurts. <laughs> okay, just stop being stupid now. Alright, let's go this way. Past, uh, host kit. And into here. I can, you know, if you really want me to, I can just list off the names. Um, and that right there, I believe, that's Bished. Yeah, that's Bish, and the one inside is Boshed. I guess it's to be expected in the seat. But just take a quick look at it. Dragon Wars Pond is completely dried up. Well, yeah, maybe I should go down there and check. So there, uh, so over there, you can have um, a, a glimpse of what, of where Medley wants us to be. Uh, is there anything over here for now? No, I don't think there's anything that we have to really do over here. Uh, but just really quickly, because, uh... Oh, do you know what? Let's talk to this person. Hello. That is Kogoli. We used to have such nice breezes blowing through here. Now the air is crazy. I'm positive the strange winds are a result of the wind's god, wind god's anger. See, there's an important shrine below here that got broken. And now we're playing the pr paying the price. Oh, curse of luck. Okay, here, you know what? I'm just gonna list off the names. So there's Medley, Kamali, Quill, the Rito Chieftain, Bosh and Bish... Uh, Hoskit, um, uh, Lari, uh, Namali, Kagoli, which we just talked to, Poshly, Skendaku, and, um, I'm missing one. Uh, I said Kaboli, I think. Ilari, Namali, Poshly. I, I, I think I just skipped one, whatever. Um, and later on, we will meet some other people, Willie and Obli, that are brothers. Now, despite what a lot of people think, I have no idea why people think that they're not Rito. They're not Rito. They only just dress up to look like Rito, which I don't really blame them because Rito are awesome. But I'm pretty sure you got that by now from this video. I mean, jeez. Okay, so let's go meet Medley, and there is a lot of ash in this air. And you have to admit, I really like this effect in the air. It's really cool looking. I mean, seriously. Hey, you actually came! Yeah, like I wouldn't. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu. He became so angry and... In his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where's my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Yeah! Okay, no, shut up. Oh, that doesn't sound, sound right at all. And you can tell that by the look of my face. I guess, like, Rito have, like, a sixth sense where they can just like, understand what you're saying without you actually having to say it. The Prince of Lou's grandmother was the Ray Flu's former tenant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. 
She was kind and brave, and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Flu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. Oh, Melly, don't say that. I only possess some of her strength, if I only. I'm sure Prince Kamala would have felt more secure. Look, I'm sorry to ask you this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of the dragons. Of dragons. But that ledge over there is so high. I could get some if I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Sure, of course. Whew, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Hey, I would never like that. Fa then face that ledge and toss me. So you have to make sure that the wind is blowing right. That's at atmospheric currents are really messed up. Yeah, no kidding. So yeah, make sure that you're throwing her the right way, or otherwise something bad will happen. You know, I think I could show it because I know we're not gonna be high up. Wait, can I make it now? It's too low. She crashes. It's kind of funny what happens. I'm fine. That didn't really hurt. What was I saying? Oh yeah. What? Once more with the wind. Toss away, please. That's just funny. Sorry, Medley. Oops. It's pretty funny how that happens. Just like you hear the birds chirping. Well, because they're Rito. If you toss them up there, she should, you know, be able to get them just fine. There we go. Oh, thank you. I think I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Now, don't get yourself hurt. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay, are you sure? All right, then. I just may be a tenant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. Oh, that's true. My is actually bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. Does that mean that I could stay here? Okay. This is all I'll have to give you. It's not much, but please take it. What do we get? Ooh, we get a bottle. Are you kidding me? In the Zelda universe... Bottles are probably some of the best items, if not the best. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. All right, I won't. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. So she's going to go off and venture off into the cavern. All right, then. Let's hope that you're doing good. Bottles are awesome. Now, like in any other Zelda game except for Majora's Mask, there are six bottles to get. Apparently, Mommy's telling us it's okay. Okay, you know, that's not your joke. So, yes. So now we have a button of water. There are four to get, and balls, of course, are awesome. They can hold water, they can hold fairies, they can hold just about anything, and you can even use them as weapons, which is really cool. Bottles are probably some of those versatile items in Zelda, and a lot of people consider them to be some of the best items ever. Now, over here, we have some dried-up bomb flowers, so let's get some of the water from the spring and pour it on it to make them alive again. Uh, funny little tidbit, I note this. I I've done this before. You can use salt water from the ocean below, and this will still work. Oops. I guess they figure any water is good water. Yeah. Well, let's try this again. Second tank. Yeah! Ooh, got it midair too. That was cool. And now the spring water is finally back. And I love how the ash and embers just just sit on the water. I love Wind Waker so much. This game is so cool. How it just does all this really cool stuff without having to do so much. And the water texture is really nice in this game without having to be transparent. Because, you know, it doesn't need to be transparent. Now, even though Medley said that she's safe and that she can handle on her own, I don't really think that she'll be okay. Plus, I want to explore this top of Dragon Roots. Because, uh, you know, there might be some goodies up there. But if you really want to know why, is because, spoilers, this is going to be a dungeon. We have ourselves our first true major dungeon in this game. For the Forsaken Fortress, I really don't consider it to be our first major dungeon. It's our first, it's our first dungeon, but it's not our first major one. I guess you could say this is a temple, in a sense, if you really want to say that. But, yeah. And now, in most Zelda games, if you know, the first, temp the first temple, or, you know, which are the really big dungeons, are usually uh, forest-themed. Now, this one it totally breaks away from that, because our first temple is fire theme, which is really, really unusual for a Zelda game, because usually the fire temple is usually the second one. So I kind of like that they did this. Technically, this is our second dungeon, so I guess that's right. And thank God, after about like a million shots, I finally get it into the damn thing. But first, we have to um, uh, make it into the basket, because apparently the Rito have the technology of uh, basketball. Because, yeah, ba basketball is definitely technology. It's not a sport. We have to make it into the basket. Okay, that was way awesome. Let's try this again. Let's see another one. There we go. Oops. Well, yeah, that wasn't gonna work. I'm like, why did I throw from there? There's a thought. Oh, what? Wow! Well, I just cannot have nice things in my favorite place in the game. Nope. Can I have nice things ever, 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 ever? God. 
freaking pickles. Okay, let's continue on. Let's try this again with Gusto. So I think after I blow up this thing, whenever that happens, I think I'll end off the video. So I'm just going to say my goodbyes for now. So next time on The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, if I can freaking do this now, we will... Ooh, that was a big jump. Uh. Okay, next time on Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, we will venture off into our next dungeon and our first big main dungeon, Dragon Roost Cavern. And thank God I finally got out on that take. That was perfect timing. So I'll see you guys next time. When we venture into Dragon Roost Cabin. See you guys then. And I love the ash just blowing in the wind. I, I love Dragon Roost Island. Can I please just like live here? Okay, no. See you guys next time. Uh oh, why is Quill there? Uh oh. Blake, do you know Medley? Yeah, I remember I had to get a letter from her. Just now, some fellow told me that, sh that he saw some unfamiliar creatures near Dragon Roost Cavern. He said that they grabbed a girl that looked like Medley. Which is odd, because I know Melly can't fly well enough to get to Dragon Roost Cavern and entrance by herself, so I figure it must be some sort of mix-up. He's a bit disconcerting, though. Dude, he knows! Uh, yeah, Quill, that's awesome, and, uh, oh, hey, look at the time, I think the King of Red Lion needs me, so I'm just gonna kind of go this way, and, you know, I'll see, yeah, run, 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 dude, he knows!